to begin drawing Mars, I'm using a red pastel to create a basic sphere. Just fill in the empty spaces. The pastel creates dust, which really is as fine as the Martian dust on the actual planet. Here I'm overlaying the red with a little tan colour to create the rusty colour of the Martian surface. Just like the Earth, Mars has north and south polar caps. These are made of ice, but the ice is a combination of water, carbon dioxide and the red, rusty sand of Mars. Next, I'm drawing Valles Marinaris, one of the largest valleys in the solar system. I'm using a very thin piece of pastel to draw in the shape of this enormous canyon. It is 4,000 kilometers long, which is 2,500 miles, 600 kilometers wide, which is 370 miles, and 10 kilometers deep, or 6 miles. Imagine standing on the edge looking down. It's a geological fault, a huge crack in the Martian surface. It is named after Mariner 9, which sent back the first pictures of this area in the 70s. In the next section of the drawing, I'm going to use my fingers to place accurately three volcanoes that are in a row. The top volcano is called Acretius. The middle one is called Pavonis. The volcano at the end of the row is called Arcea. And now I'm about to add Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system. It is 21 kilometers above the Martian surface, or 13 miles. Here I'm etching in the area at the bottom of the volcano. This base is the size of France. It has a diameter of 624 kilometers or 388 miles. It is a giant volcano. Here I'm using a silicon tipped tool just to add a little bit more pastel to give a sense of height to the volcano. Here is a close up of Olympus Mons. I love using my fingers to draw. They are great for moving pastel around and being kind of fine about it. It gives me a sense of sculpting the planet, making it real on a page. The dark markings are where the Martian wind has blown the red dust completely off, leaving rocky material exposed. Pastel is very forgiving if you make a mistake. Um, it's also so easy to wipe out errors and overdraw the area again. Many robotic explorers have landed on Mars and added to our knowledge of the planet. Many spacecraft orbit Mars continually. Some of the images are breathtaking and truly beautiful. Mars is just half the size of the Earth. It rotates in a little over 24 hours, which is similar to the Earth's day. However, Mars is quite a cold place. It's a rocky planet like the Earth, but we could not breathe in its atmosphere of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and argon. Its temperature's average is usually about minus 81 degrees Celsius, with a high of 5 degrees Celsius. Its year is 687 Earth days long. I'm going to finish this Mars drawing by edging the planet with black pastel. The blackness of space, if you like, where it exists orbiting the sun with its two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Mars has a lot of water ice buried beneath its surface. Someday you will see humans walking on the red planet. To learn more about Mars, visit NASA and ESA's Mars pages. Drawing and learning. Be inspired by Mars. Also, do try and see it in the night sky for yourself.